Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Eva, and today we are going to be wearing, testing, reviewing the brand new House Labs PH Hybrid Lip Glazes. These kind of blew up the internet. These launched the same week that the new Tower 28 lip products launched, the Milk Makeup, Cheek Lip Stains, a bunch of new makeup this week, but these were the products I was most excited about. So these retail for $26. They come in six different shades and they are available at Sephora and then also on the House Labs website. Let's talk a little bit about the launch. Actually, before we do, please make sure you are subscribed and follow me on Instagram. I do have a busy travel schedule coming up, so I will be doing a lot more beauty content over on Instagram while I'm in the midst of that travel. So follow so you don't miss out. Okay, now let's get into more about the launch. So these retail for $26, six shades, and let's talk about the claims because the claims were what really drew me in. So Per usual, I have the Sephora app up on my phone and I'm gonna be reading the claims directly from the app. Okay, the claims. A next-gen burn-free plumping glaze that visibly plumps lip with hydration. The restoring non-sticky four-in-one fuses lip, oil, balm, plumper, and gloss. Okay, so it claims it is hydrating and most importantly that it is plumping without being stinging. I did try one of these already the other day. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll say that. Um, I still need to like figure out how plumping it is. So that's what we're gonna partially figure out today in addition to the shades, how they feel on the lips, etc. The four shades I picked up are Macaron, Fig, Persimmon, and Praline. I was on the fence about if I was also going to get Fig and Praline because in the swatches, on Sephora. They looked pretty similar, but I really wanted to try one of the nude nude shades. The only ones I didn't pick up are Guava because it looked so similar to Macaron, but more cool toned. And then, oh, I'm forgetting the name. Oh, I think Coco, which was another of the nudes. But who knows? If I end up loving these, I'm sure I'll eventually pick up the rest of them during a sale. First off, let's talk packaging per usual. Um, I know this is not important, but I really love the external cardboard packaging that comes with House Labs. It just feels like very luxe. I love that it has the House Labs imprint. Also, I like that it has the color on the external box. I don't know, I feel like Sephora's can just get so messy and people put stuff in the wrong places. So it's nice to actually have the color on the outside of the box as well. Okay, now for the product itself, it looks like this. It comes in the same shape of packaging as the House Labs regular lip oils. Um, the difference is these have that frosted glass and I love that you can actually see the color. And then let's talk about the applicator. It has kind of like a larger applicator. Reminds me a little bit of the Dior lip oil applicator, but not quite as large. Let's do some arm swatches first so you can see up close what the shades look like. And then we'll move into lip swatches and talking about the formula. We have praline, macaron, fig, persimmon. Now that you've seen the arm swatches, you can see from the arm swatches that the shades do look quite different swatched on the arms, but that isn't always the case on the lips. So let's go ahead and move into the lip swatches. I'm gonna do something maybe like a little weird. Something I'm gonna do first is I actually wanna um, swatch praline on one half of my mouth and fig on the other half because in the lip swatches online on Sephora, they looked super similar. So I just wanna see how similar they are and for me, it's so much easier for me to compare shades when I do half half on one half of my mouth, the other half on the other. So right now we are going in with Fig on this side of my mouth. Okay, we have Fig, and then let's go in with Praline on this half of my mouth. 
Okay, these are completely different. These are different, which is great, which is what I wanted. They are not the same shade whatsoever. So we got that out of the way. Um, now let's move into the full lip swatches. Here we have the shade Praline. initial thoughts on the launch of the formula of the shade. So I was very pleased that each of the shades looked distinctly different on my lips. As I mentioned earlier, I was a little bit afraid of that. Um, Fig, I'm going to insert a clip of close up that I filmed on my iPhone of the lip so you can see what I'm talking about. I wanted to bring you in closer for Fig to show you what it looks like on my lips. One of my concerns with this shade was um, potentially emphasizing lip lines. Sometimes sheer, darker colors can do that. And in the promo images, it did appear that it was doing that a little bit. It wasn't enough to scare me away, but I do wanna show you that if you are sensitive to that, if that does bother you, um, that it does sink in to the lip lines and kind of emphasizes them a little bit. So something to keep in mind and I wanted to show you up close. My thoughts on the formula, it's very comfortable. It's not sticky at all. It reminds me so much of one of my favorite lip products of all time, the Amicole Lip Oils. Um, I will insert a clip here. I actually swatched the lip oil as well as the Merit Lip Oil next to the House Labs Lip Glazes. So you can kind of see the difference in opacity. The Amicole Lip Oil um, was pretty similar in level of opacity. Level of comfortability was very similar. I feel like both of the products really just like coat the lip and last for a while because of that coating. I am gonna be doing like a full wear test um, with this lip product. So I'm going to like report back when I'm in the middle of editing, letting you know how long it wore, but reminded me a lot of the Amicole. Um, they actually were kind enough to send me a discount code um, a couple of weeks ago. I've been meaning to mention that on the channel. So I'll have it on the screen and then down below. Um, this isn't like a plug for them. I just naturally thought of the formulas being similar and I thought I'd mention the code. So I'll have it linked um, down below and then I'll have it on the screen. So if you have not yet tried Amicole, highly recommend picking them up. But overall, I'm pleased with this launch and this product. I recommend picking one of them up. I will say, I don't think they're like, I think the, the pitch of them being super plumping and innovative is oversold a bit because they're not, like they, they were pitching them, at least my interpretation was they were kind of pitching them as an alternate to a lip plumping gloss and one that doesn't sting but I don't find that they plump the lips. I find that they make the lips hydrated and healthy looking which therefore will kind of give the illusion of plumper lips but even when I wore this um, yesterday for several hours I don't notice a difference in like the size of my lips. So I think that claim is a little oversold but as far as it being like a hydrating pigmented, comfortable lip, lip product. I think it definitely checks the box there. So overall, I would recommend picking one of these up if you're in the market for a new lip product. But again, I'll say if you already have the Amicole, I think you might be okay. I don't know if you also need the House Labs ones unless colors are specifically speaking to you. I'm going to go ahead now and insert the clip that I will do in the future talking about longevity. That way you have that information. Okay, I wanted to do a lip check-in. So it has been two and a half hours since I applied persimmon from House Labs. I have to say, even though the color has faded away, there's a little bit remaining, but more so, my lips still feel very moisturized. 
I would say the color lasted maybe an hour and a half and then it really started to fade but again it's still really comfortable it still definitely feels like it's on my lips they feel nourished they feel hydrated and they feel healthy i hope this video was helpful i will have the products linked down below if you decide to make a purchase would love if you purchase through my links it does really help me out and then again follow me on instagram and would love for you to subscribe thanks so much for tuning in to this quick little review and i will catch you in my next video